hey, what's going on, super nerds? So anyways, um, I had a few people ask me some weird questions about, you know, really dropping the distributor in 15 degrees or 34 degrees or whatever it is before top dead center. And um, I'll show you a really neat way to kind of drop it in. It's basic math. Uh, a little bit more accurately if you're not really too privy on it and you know that you can find top dead center on your balancer and make sure it's true top dead center. Um, just a bit of math for you. One thing you need to know is your diameter of your balancer. So just uh, you know, go take a measuring tape and measure across it. I did mine just a minute ago. It's 6.75 inches from point to point. Then we do a bit of math and figure out the circumference. So that is 6.75 inches times apple pie or pecan pie, not a big deal. So let me calculate and late that real quick. I think it's like 21, but we'll see. Uh, 6.75 times 3.14. Okay, cool. So when our circumference comes out to 20 point. 21.195. Neat. So we got two valuable bits of information. We got the diameter and the circumference. Now we know a circle is 360 degrees, so we need to take that number and divide that thing by 360 degrees. Now we know that every single degree in this circle here has uh, a distance value of 0 0.058875. So every one degree is that distance. So if we're gonna put our engine in, we're gonna drop that distributor in at 15 degrees before top dead center. All we have to do is multiply that number by that number and Apparently, the distance from top dead center to 15 degrees before where we're going to drop our thing in at is 0 0.883125. So, round it up, it's 0 0.88 inches. Super neat thing, right? My number one favorite thing to do on that, which I actually learned from an old mentor of mine, Super Shark Cat. If he watches this video, he will say I ripped him off, but it's just math and it's good stuff, so it's not a big deal. So we'll get a nice, nice smooth surface that we can uh, lay this down on. I'm going to take my little straight edge here, Harbor Freight's Finest, and we're going to, that's where I'm going to cut it with my scissors right there. We're going to measure this out. It's in inches. We're going to measure out 0.88. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do, 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 do. Hey, look at that. So I'll take it from here and I'll go right to there and be real close. So that right there is 15 degrees before top dead center. And then what we can do is we can take this right here and we can line this up on our top dead center mark on our balancer and tape the thing down and then rotate our engine over for the zero mark and that will be 15 degrees before top dead center. This is also very important if you like you don't have like a very accurate balancer or indicator but you use like an engine stop and you actually figured out what your true TDC is. You can put this on there, use it as a reference point to make a little mark before, you know, 415, then line it up with whatever reference point you're using, piece of TIG wire off your timing cover or what have you not. And it works out pretty good because then you know your engine's 15 degrees before top dead center, you drop your distributor in, line it up with number one real nice and solid, cinch it down, you start your thing up to adjust your timing, and heck, if you're real good, you might not have to do anything to it, but you're gonna start within a degree or so of your actual timing mark so it'll get you up and running faster and be more accurate and it's accurate enough doing it this way that 
you know, if you don't have a timing light and a pinch and you're trying to put it together in your uncle's garage or something, you know, at least you know within the ballpark of runnability because balancers are going to differ, differ here and there and engines are going to differ here to there to the point that, you know, you may run into a thing where, you know, you don't have access to a timing light. But if you can do basic math and you got a means of measuring and you got a bit of old painter's tape, and you can do this and be pretty daggone close close enough to run. So with that, I will uh, I'll go stick this on my engine. And my engine is, I believe it's already at 15 degrees. So we'll go stick it on the balancer real quick and pop the cap off and just see how close it really is. Stand by for that. All right, we're back here, check it out. I put the tape on, I lined it up with my TDC mark. We're looking good, That's that has got it. I lined it up right with my old, you know, my old mark for top dead center, and there's 15 degrees right there. So if we cruise up here and look, this is number one right here, and then yeah, pretty daggone close. So, and then the also look, there's a squirrel. What up, killer? Anywho, that's awesome. So, that gets you pretty close. Enjoy.